All right, well, in most homes, the family room is the busiest room in the house. And if your living room has seen a lot of wear and tear, now is the time to give it a lift. Joining me is Lenore Gonzalez, host of Denver's Good Living by Design and owner of her own interior design company, Decor and You. Lenore, thank you for being with us this morning. Well, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, yeah, me too. As what'd, you, what'd you think of that sweater? Well, it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't bring it home. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I just keep it for special occasions. All right, so talking about living rooms, where do we start? Well, when you decorate your living room, you have to know the function of the room. I call it the family room. I think it's one of the most important spaces in our home. That's where we gather, we entertain, you read your favorite book, you watch TV, or you know, you've played with your kids. Right. So you need to know the function before you start decorating. If you're entertaining in the room, you have to make sure that you have enough seating in the space. Okay. Or if you watch TV, you probably need to consider the right window treatment to stop the glare from the windows. Right, yeah, very important. Yeah, so also another thing that you have to consider um, you also have to start measuring. You have to start measuring first before you go shopping. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine coming home with a beautiful and expensive piece of furniture only to find out that it doesn't, it doesn't fit, fit in the space nor Not only can I imagine door. it, but I can attest that I've done it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so that's I've, a no-no. I've made that mistake, yeah. Yes. Okay, well, so what are some of the essentials that that room needs to have? Well, it has to have art and accessories. Okay. We call that the jewelry of the room. We also want to put an area rug. Like here, there's an area rug. It anchors the space and brings the color down to the floor level. Okay. And I think when people decorate, they have to decorate to reflect their personality, not the furniture showroom. And what do I mean by that? When you go shopping, you tend to buy the sofa that goes with a chair. Mm -hmm. or you feel like you have to bring home the end tables that come with the set. You don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So decorate to reflect your personality. You have to have your own personal style. Mm -hmm. And you could do this by p putting items that you accumulated throughout the years mm -hmm. and, you know, you like family photos. Here too to look at as well. And, and that's great. I mean, and you're right. That the the rug is I think always very paramount to anchoring the room and the way you put it. It does. So now is this this is an, an after picture? This is, is an after picture. This is beautiful. Okay. This is a family room that we did and as uh -huh. you can see we have we used a lot of art and accessories. It mm -hmm. provides the wow and it makes the complete room. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the area rug. Um, mm -hmm. This is another room. We have draperies, um, we have accessories again, and mm -hmm. we have pillows to add color. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that you have to remember. It's mm -hmm. not just the main furniture. Right. And it has to reflect your personal taste. Um, if you love blue, then incorporate, incorporate the blue. Incorporate the blue. And I think that's really important because I know that that's something a lot of people do. They think that they've got to dress the room based on the pieces and they leave their personality out right. of it. Because then you don't feel comfortable in it. Then what's right. the point of it being a living room, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so that is one of the big mistakes that we can make is not incorporating ourselves. What are some of the other mistakes? Um, the other mistakes are forgetting lighting. I think mm -hmm. lighting is one of the design elements that people tend to overlook. There should be three levels of lighting, your overhead lighting, your task lighting, which are your table lamps, and your mm -hmm. accent lighting. Okay. Also, people um, tend to not invest in good quality furniture. Mm -hmm. So I think you spend a lot of time in your family room. You have to have at least good quality furniture that would stand the use and abuse and last a long time. Okay, that's great. Well, so how can our viewers learn more about this? Because I know that this is something everyone could probably use a hand on. Well, so. you could go to our website, okay. decoranduhr.com. Okay. And we also have a free guide that talks about the 10 principles of design that you could download. So if you go to the, the website, decoranduhr.com mm -hmm. forward slash guide, you'll be able to get that guide. Okay, fantastic. Lenore, thanks for sharing oh, these tips. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks yeah, for having me. Yeah, appreciate it. Absolutely. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you.